Knock, knock. I'm here. Stop watching me. God, he's always watching me. Be like somebody's watching me. Uh, read it? Read. It's hard to read because it's of the high end writing, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, you really support me and means a lot, but uh, difficult as it is to say, you guys alone can't magically make your own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear, this isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You'll all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Oh. <laughs> I can get to the end of the game. Warning! Warning! Great. You telling me she was shitting in an elevator? So we're gonna figure out what she's been doing this whole time since being here. Um. Oh, okay. Ever since I screamed into my microphone, my microphone's not picking up my voice correctly, by the way. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh, Iphen lead. Entry number one, this is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the souls. Okay. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. So, you've been killing monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides, being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. Uh, if only I can make a monster soul last. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human soul. I believe this is what gives the souls the strength to, uh, to persist after death. Uh, the will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Hmm. Ow, I smashed my hand against my desk. And Sam. And Sam? There's a note on the ground. You can't make it out at all. Elevator, lost power, enter the center door. That's all you can read. Power room. Okay, so they want me to enter the center door. Buy chips for 25 grand? Sure. What the fuck keeps popping up? Sorry, so there's pop-ups on my computer. It's some security bullshit. Entry number six. Asgore ask everyone outside the city for monsters that have fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose. And soon, they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I check termination into them? Their souls is pretty good music. If their soul persists after they perish, then... Freedom might be closer than we all might we all thought. Ones that fall down? What are you talking about? Entry number nine. Oh fuck. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give uh, give them the dust back for the funerals. People are just starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Oh, this got dark for no reason. It's some kind of operation table. It's sticky. Or did it say it's stickly? Something drew near. How do I fight these? No data available. Do they turn into something? Oh my god, fucking antivirus bullshit. Shame. Seems 
like it doesn't care anymore. Oh, okay then. There's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it in the keychain. Well then, that's very interesting. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it out at all. Drain dropped it. That's all you can read. Alkies, why the fuck is this so complicated? The red key fits perfectly into the slot. Is that it? Ah, that fucking AVGN thing's gonna pop up again. No, AVG, not AVGN. Angry Video Game Nerd. <laughs> okay, so we got four that we can unlock. Different rooms, obviously. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Oh, boy. Dog bowl? It's an empty pool, dog food bowl. Seems like a comfortable bed. Lie down it? Yes. Please don't kill me. Was that it? This ain't Pokemon, baby. It's a bed. It's a bed. Are you sure? One of these is not like the other. There's something underneath it. Yes. It's a yellow key. You put it in your keychain. Sweet. It's a bed. It's a bed. Okay, the gameplay just fucking changed up dramatically right now, by the way. She has determination in the middle of this room! Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. True lab bedroom. Entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls and the vessels back to Asgore, and I called all the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Smiley face. Yep. No, 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 no. This is like Japanese animal. Oh. There's a green key lying in the bathtub. You take it and put it on the keychain. Oh, nothing decided to attack me? Well then, that's a giant fucking head. You lie! Smells like sweet lemons. Oh, this is a variation of that one. Lemon bread? Flex, hum, cry, scream, call. Call. You called for help, but no one came. Welcome to my special hell. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay. That's a pretty cool attack. Unhug. You let the lemon bread be. Lemon bread's tea shake. Stay here with me. Do I have to hug it? Oh shit. What the fuck? Smells like sweet lemons. Flex, cry, scream. Hum. You hum a familiar tune. Lemon bread body shakes. That's what they all say. I like how it pushes down the heart. Cry. You cried as loud as you can, but nobody came. Stay here with me. Huh? What? I got nicked! Ah. Huh. I somehow got it. How? I, I have absolutely no idea. Uh, there's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out under sh That's all you could read. Alright, there's a VHS player with fewer tapes picked out beside it. They seem to be labeled in specific order. Will you watch this one? Alright. One. Oops. Gory, wake up! Hmm? What is it? Dear? Err... Uh, and why do you have that video camera? Shush, I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearies. What is my favorite vegetable? Hmm... Carrots, right? No, 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 no. My favorite vegetable is edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. 
Now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Um, I don't know. Honey, what kind of dog would you be? <laughs> I would be a Mamoranian. <laughs> I'm gonna use this in the future. You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day, you could be a famous Mamedian. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. Uh, I know, I'm just messing with you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear, perhaps it's too dark in here for the video to come out. She has videos of Toriel and Asgore. That is so fucking silly. Okay, Luna. Are you ready? Do, do your creepy face. Ah! <laughs> oh, wait. I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on. Quit trickling me. Tricking me. What? Howdy, Luna. A smile for the camera. Uh, this time I got you. I, I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. I remember when we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I feel so bad. We made Mom really upset. I should have laughed it off, like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright, it's the kids. I I don't like this idea, Luna. What? No, I'm not. The kids don't cry. Uh, yeah, you're right. No, I, I, do, I don't... I do not never doubt you, Luna. Never. Y yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Luna, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Luna, you have to stay determined. You cannot give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Psst, Luna, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I... I... No, I said... I said I never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? Mm -hmm. Jury number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. There are bunches of VHS that seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. They seem to be alphabetized, save for a few stray. Sticky ones? Oh. Oh. There are a bunch of VHS that seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. Click. Yellow key fits perfectly. Alright, so... Let me go get determined. Alright, so... Toriel and Asgore were up with the idea to be able to go get human hearts, if I'm not mistaken. I think. At least that's what I heard from their tubes. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the, the little kid, I forgot his name. What is his name? I forgot his name. God damn it. Asriel? His name was Asriel, right? Mixture of Toriel and Asgore. Um, Asriel, I didn't hear his voice in there. Maybe I'm mixing it, but uh, yeah. Uh, Toriel, I guess, went with the idea. DT extraction machine. Determination extraction machine. Status active. This is the determination in, in uh, determination extracting machine, huh? Looks like the head of um, the monster boss that we fought. Oh, this is some spooky shit. There's something here. It feels warm and moist. There's something here. Something in the shape of a man. There's something here in the shape of a man. There's something here. Feels like a tree ripe with delicious fruit. There's something here. It feels like it's breathing.
right? Whoa. There's no one on the ground. You can't make it all out. Curtains. Yeah, that's all you can read. Alright, so I guess this is like a freezer room, currently? I think, right? I hit something. Or that's just in the song. I think it's just in the song. I feel like I hit something. Oh! Alright, okay, okay, I see what's turned out. It's those things. That's clicking. Alright, got. I don't think we got all those. I have to go down to the right. <sighs> if I'm not mistaken. But I haven't gone right yet, so. Let's figure out what's over here. Bunch of flowers. Me. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's soul when the time comes. After all, a monster can absorb the soul of another monster's. Just a human can absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Golden flowers. This flowy... Um, hmm. Entry number ten. Experiments on the vessels are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the current control cases. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. Bunch of golden flowers. Make sure there's nothing hidden here. something mysterious rec uh, recognize it has more to learn from this world what the fuck huh to use the ones that somehow make them react, so that's what we got a plan to do. Pick on. Reaper Bird seems someone finally gets it. Courage. Oh, we got it. At least I think we did. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Ah, I knew I was gonna get hit. Sweet. Ah, oh, I don't have the blue key. That's the only one I don't have. Where exactly is the blue key? Oh, up and to the right. Okay, okay, okay. Good, 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 good. Alright, so once we'll be able to do this, we'll be able to get the generator on and be able to see what the hell's in that room. Because there is something breathing. Maybe there's a human there. Maybe there's something filled with determination. I'm not exactly sure. It seems so abandoned. It's not even funny. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Oh my god. There's a switch on the wall. Press it. <laughs> Oh, hi. No tank. No tank. No tank. Turn it off. Turn it off. The amalgamite? It's like a pup with a... Uh, let's pet it. It's too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Well, technically he's the air. Oh. Oh. What? He called Amalgamite. Bounce towards you, flicking strange liquid from its orifices. Orifices. Ow! What the fuck? You pet Amalgamite, it convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Suddenly, it shoots awake and crawls wildly on the walls. Jesus, fuck! 
Ah, damn it. Damn it. I got it. I got to heal. I somehow to fucking bullshit. Play. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The Amalgam brings it back to you. Probably? The, you repeat this process a few times. Now Amalgam is very tired and leans it stripping off his body on you. Oh, those fucking things move. Uh, pet. You pet. It starts to generate a stage of happiness froth. Oh my god, if I die from this thing. This is creepy as fuck, by the way. The sound matches with his mouth perfectly, also. Pet more? You pet this, this, uh, decisively, the amalgamation seems to be satisfied by all this. Endogeny is contented? You won. That was fucking weird as shit. But, highly cool. I like these. I like these little bosses that are happening right here. They're very fun. They're very neat. They're very nice. They're very cool. Alright, uh, where the fuck do I gotta go? Good job, the clock is broken. Do I sleep here? What? Whoa. Oh, thank you, baby. Ah, oh, a nice ghost. I'm gonna smooch the ghost. Smooch it. Interesting. All right, let's see if we could possibly catch it. Maybe when its arm is fully extended, we'll we'll probably go to do it. Yeah, bitch. Oh, okay. I guess not. All right. Let's go up here. This side. Just kidding, we've already been there. Alright, so a place is open. Let's go down this area. Hopefully, the. that fixed everything? Like, I don't know if it will. To be honest with you, but. hey man, plus that determination extractor fucking sucks. It looks awful. It's a refrigerator, it's empty. Alright. Entry number 19. The family's kept calling me to ask where everyone is calling home. Uh, what am I supposed to say? I don't even answer my phone anymore. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. Well, oh, I saw that refrigerator move. Yep, there it is. Entry number 20. Asgard left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Uh, thanks, Asgore. Entry level 21. I spent all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Because you are garbage. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. You're a fucking liar. It's a refrigerator. It contains... Mm. Do I click on it when it rumbles? I guess not. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain some kinds of samples. Oh, no, block. Hello, block. Oh, I don't even know what you are. It's so cold. Heckle, laugh, laugh, joke. He told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Uh, I remember. You're a, mix you're a mixture of that snow thing? That weird chicken? Joke. Her expression changes more. Ah, thank. Thank. I guess this one's not gonna be dangerous. It's so cold. Joke. You won! Hey! Oh, nice. Thank you. 
Alright, we have one there. Alright, sweet. That was fairly easy. That was the easiest one. Really, I had the- I died the most- oh no. Okay, just kidding. I thought I'd get stuck there. I died the most on the one with the teeth, the one that I just passed currently. That was the hardest one out of all of them. In my mind, because I just kept getting mucked up, brother. Kept getting mucked up, dude. Nothing I can do about it. There we go, honeybee. Alright, let's get our booties over there. Put in that key, go into that power room, and turn everything on, and hopefully see what's going on. How many keys were there? Was five, or is there six? It'd be funny if Alfie's did it just to have it based off the hearts, huh? They could have had something following me here. That would have been interesting. Also, I wonder if Flowey... Maybe Flowey can only go, go, go through the seeds that Alfie's made. Alfie's is a product of Flowey. No, Flowey's in, uh, is a product of Alfie. Maybe, right? That sounds like what they're trying to say. There's four. Alright. Oh, this is an elevator? Okay. Oh, seems to be turned off. Nothing... nothing's on? Okay. It seems like it controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Yes, it's a heart. Is this a human's heart? Are you kidding me? No, I'd rather not. I can't move either. Hey, stop! Uh, I got you guys some food, okay? That's why she has dog food. Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smell the potato chips you had, and... Uh, anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were the one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. But, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because the guys or anything. I was just worried it would be too afraid. To tell the truth, then I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you pr probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of the souls. During my research, I isolated a power, a power I called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. Last after death, but the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take the take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physically they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into those. Uh, seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. I was too afraid to do any more work to knowing. Everything I've done so far has been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it will be, uh, be a little easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come. It's time for everyone to go home. I thought the room would lie up, but apparently not. Entry number 18. I've chosen the cannon date. I have told Asgore yet because I want to be surprised. I want to surprise him with it. In the center of this garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. A flower from the outside world. It appears just before the queen left. I wonder what happens when something without a soul gains what will, will to live. It becomes fucking evil. Entry number 18. The flower's gone. It's a voice you have never heard before. La Una, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, 
Everything has fallen into place. Luna. See you soon. What? What?